When God created the world, he made man his own image to live here and take care of the world. However, humans started doing evil things and stopped following his commands. They did not pray to him and they only cared for their own comfort. God decided to destroy the earth and everybody in it. There was only one man who loved God, Noah. Noah loved and worshipped God. He believed in God even though nobody else did. He also taught his family to love and fear God. One day, God spoke to Noah. Noah, you are a good man. You are righteous and you live a good life with your own family. Noah was shocked at what he heard, but he remained calm. But God, these are your people. Have mercy on them. No, Noah. The world has to be destroyed. I will send a great flood that will destroy the whole of earth. It will bring without end for 40 days. Every living being on earth will be destroyed. So be it. Let your will be done. Fear not, Noah. I have come before you because you have been a good man. You and your family will survive the flood. You are merciful, my God. You will not do this harm for you and your family. What is it, ours, my Lord? And ours, Give it to me. Let me hold it. You will do this harm to protect your family from the flood. The harm shall be taken up for your family. But God, I have no knowledge about building arcs. How will I do this? Do not worry. I will give you all the instructions you need. Just follow them, and you will be able to build this without any problems. Okay, my Lord. I will follow your instructions, and do as you say. You must also talk to the people around you. Tell them to be kind and do good things. Tell them 
The dove returned as it could not find any place to make a nest. The water still covered every patch of dry land. Noah waited for one week and then sent the dove out again. This time, the dove returned with an olive branch. This meant that the water levels had come down. Noah waited for one more week, and this time, when he sent the dove out, it did not return. This was a sign that the water had come down and there was dry land. Soon, the ark came to a stop on top of a dry mountain. Then God spoke to Noah. Thank you. 